Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 4 of SEM in continuation with the previous 3 videos which I have uploaded. So in the module 4 you have both the theory as well as the numericals and let me make it clear to you this is not my elective I don't know anything about the numericals so whatever I can help from my side that I am doing okay. So uh, if you have less time left even uh, then if you are starting numericals today you will not be able to complete in uh, most cases right. So uh, what are the theory points you can learn so that you can score most marks that's what I will be sharing with you okay. So if you are here for the numericals you can exit the video now itself because nothing will be there regarding that okay. So uh, let's get started, I will be just uh, giving, giving a brief overview of what are the topics about and uh, what you need to keep in mind, fine. So before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make uh, more videos like this, okay. So let's get started, the, uh, let me give you a brief overview, there are totally how many topics in uh, module 4, there are 5 theory topics, okay. The first one is the impact uh, of uncertainty on the network design. What does the uncertainty mean? We are not being sure of uh, what is going to happen, right. So uh, how does that impact the network design? That's the key point there. Network design using decision trees. Just know the theory, make the graph and write the algorithm for it. Give an example that should be like the theory concepts, right? Here also you can fetch some marks, okay? Then we have the planning demand, okay? Planning demand, what are the different key factors? Introduction to forecasting, objective users and characteristics, components and classification. There are four types in it and factors and error measures. That's in the uh, third, chapter, uh, third uh, point. The fourth point is the multiple items, multiple location, the inventory management, the classification technology. Three are there ABC, FSN, and VED. Last one is pricing, uh, pricing and revenue management factors are there. Four main key points are there. So, we'll be discussing what are those key points, how do you uh, keep those in mind, and how do you uh, get the more information regarding this. Okay, you have to take a paper in your hand and a pen. And whenever I say a new topic, you have to note it down and find in Google, watch some video uh, regarding that specific topic in YouTube, and uh, note down in your own words. That will help you a lot in writing the uh, same answer if it comes in exam. Fine, so let's get started. All these, um, whatever I'm referring can be found in the uh, link given in the description box, okay. So let's get started uh, with the first question. So open this uh, PDF which I had uh, recently opened uh, in a separate um, device so that you can refer what I'm, uh, what I'm telling. Okay, so this is the PPT which I got uh, from my faculty. Okay, so in the module 4, uh, what all we have is the first one is the impact of uncertainty on network design, okay. Impact of uncertainty on network design, uh, how does uncertainty affect the network design that is uh, present here like the demands and the prices go up and down, the size and the scope uh, varies uh, as the market changes, that is the uncertainty and uh, that's how the network uh, design is getting affected. If you know this much, just spend 2 or 5 minutes, you will get to know the uh, key points. Note it down somewhere, that's very important, note it down otherwise you will forget, okay. Network uh, design using decision tree, first define what is decision tree, your first key point, second give an example. Well, what does uh, the addition point and the chance point mean? And here's some example is given. You can go through this one. Third point is your example, and the algorithm can be specified as follows also. And means in the first step, what you do, the second step, what you'll do, you'll be uh, diving deep into that, right? Means at these each point, what is uh, the possibility that will be increasing? So at each point, you'll be diving deep into it, and the specific values will be present here. The general values will be present here. Believe me, if you write it like this, you'll uh, surely get marks because you are explaining it in, uh, it in an organized and proper manner. Fine, that's more important. Just filling all the content in one place, it's not uh, relevant. You have to organize those in a stepwise, stepwise manner. That will impress the examiner as well, right, when they uh, correct your answer script. So make sure you use these uh, small tips. It will help you fetch more marks with least content. Evaluation of network design using decision trees. Here, I guess the example is given and the uh, you know, algorithm is starting. So make sure you go through the algorithm and get the key points. What are those in the algorithms? and evaluating uh, spot market options. So here all the theory is there. I am not uh, going to cover any of this topic. I have no idea what it is. So I'll be skipping that and moving on to the page number 24. So in the page number uh, 24, what you can find is this uh, the forecasting. So what is forecasting? Based on the previous tense, you are trying to um, make a guess regarding what could happen if the same circumstances are again uh, occurring. What is the probability of this happening? What is the probability of this happening? That is called as forecasting, okay, the estimation. So what is its objectives and uses that you have to go through it and the characteristics of forecasting. So ask about, if they ask about forecasting, write the definition, objective, use and the characteristics and its applications as well, okay. If if the applications are not present here, Google it, find it and keep it in your mind, okay. And the components of forecasting and forecasting methods, these are the components, 
so you have to go through these uh, components and get what it means classification four types are the qualitative time series casual and simulation okay so each of these uh, information is given here just get to know few key points regarding each of these then you have to move to the basic approach uh, to demand forecasting okay so there is a method for forecasting that is the uh, basic approach so that you will be uh, going through and then the factors and the error uh, measures so factors are present here error measures are present here this much you have to do in what um, planning and uh, demand planning demand okay planning demand starting from page number 24 you have to do this much next is uh, the multiple items multiple location inventory management here we have classification three times that's the most important concept so the three types of classification is abc fsn and vd you'll get the key points here and the diagrams also are there make sure you get to know what is the key point regarding that what is the main concept regarding that and make the uh, specific diagram as well for each of these you uh, need to know okay if they ask an exam they could ask this one okay like uh, i mean not uh, vd but uh, they could ask uh, uh, abc fsn or uh, vd the classifications okay that's the main key point in that right last one is the pricing and revenue management here you, are, uh, you need to know the uh, factors four main key points are there so those key points can be found in okay these are the four key points the first one is the value of the uh, product varies in the market segments if the market changes the value of the product will change it is highly perishable or the wastage occurs demand has seasonal and other peaks and <clears throat> the product is sold uh, both in bulk and on, on the spot market so basically that's all what is there in module 4 i'm, re I'm really sorry i could not do anything uh, for you guys regarding the numerical part so uh, yeah let's see uh, what i could uh, do for the um, next uh, other subjects so this is all what i could do for you so anyways let's uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one